If you have a job, that means so you have intellectual property. Otherwise, your job wouldn't pay you to do what you do, right? And I'm pretty sure there's other things that you're passionate about. So I encourage everybody on some level, even if it's just the ebook, to package up what you know, and not just for the purpose of selling it, but because someone can benefit from that. Well, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of financial freedom fast lane the quicker you get to your dream life the longer you get to live it and i'm your host george atchampong pardon me while i sip my coffee man that's good all right guys so today we're going to talk about all the different things that i do am i like tommy from martin man you ain't got no job tommy <laughs> shout out to tommy man r.i.p tommy but uh but now i do a lot of different things and 99% of all of the things are in alignment, but I think it's important to let you guys know how I can be a resource to you, how I can serve you, not to talk about the different revenue streams I have, but how I can be of service to you, okay? So let's talk about it. Uh, I might have to reference some notes throughout this because there is a lot of different moving parts to the ecosystem, but that's okay, and we're gonna get through it, and I'm gonna let you know exactly how I can be a resource to you. And so let's start from the top. All right, so I have been a financial advisor uh, for about 11 plus years. Okay, that's that's what I started out doing in this industry. And I originally started out working for another company for about, let's call it two and a half-ish years. Um, and then I decided to launch my own firm. So most of the time that I've been an advisor, I've been a firm owner. Those two things are very different because you can be an advisor and work for Chase or Vanguard or whatever the case may be. But owning and running an advisory business is a completely different ballgame. So I own and operate a financial planning and investment advisory firm called CapitalWise, right? So if you're looking for a financial advisor, me or my team might be a resource for you over there. You can, you can learn more at CapitalWise.co um, to learn more about how we can help you, right? Um, my, my goal there really is to work with people in a one-on-one -on -one capacity, people who have a very dynamic financial situation, probably making north of a quarter million or more in, in revenue or income and just need some more guided help. Our claim to fame, our promise across all platforms, whether it's financial literacy or my firm, is that we help people achieve financial independence three times faster than traditional financial advice, right? This can't be financial freedom fast lane if that's not what we're doing. So we have a proprietary system and methodology that allows us to kind of debunk the invest $400 a month for 40 years nonsense, right? Like no one wants to wait until they're 65 to become financially free. And we're gonna show you exactly how to do that, whether that's at our firm or anything else that we talk about, anything else that we do, right? So that's that. Wanna learn more about that, go to capitalize.co. We'll make sure that we link all this stuff in the show notes. All right, number two, I own and operate a financial social network known as the Melanin Millionaires Club. Because when I launched my firm, I didn't realize at first that the amount of people that I would wanna serve, I wouldn't be able to serve them through my firm. Now, of course, we could continue to uh, find and recruit new advisors and expand and expand. Um, but even then, there would never be a way where my firm could uh, serve everybody that we wanna help, right? Because if you think about it, my firm is a done for you model, right? Where we're doing a lot of the heavy lifting. And so there's only so many people that we can do that work for. Whereas we can educate tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people to become self-sufficient and navigate their own financial plan, right? So on the capital wise side, our goals are very like 40 to 60 new clients a year. And even that will cap out at some point. And on our financial education community, the Bell and Millionaires Club, our goal is to bring on three to 5,000 new members a year, right? So completely different business models, like literally 10X, right? And so because of that, I had to create a platform that could serve and be of value to a lot of people. And so the Melanin Millionaires Club is a subscription community. It's only 49 bucks a month, $2 a day. And inside of that community, you're gonna get weekly live classes. You're gonna get access to a library of all of our past recordings, workshops, trainings, videos, and over a library, I think at this point of over 200 past uh, master classes across personal finance, wealth building, entrepreneurship, taxes, you name it, right? And we call it financial flicks, right? So you can financial flicks and chill instead of just binge watching Netflix. We also have a wonderful feature called My Pocket Advisor. 
right? My pocket advisor is like having a financial advisor in your pocket. So funny story, when I originally launched the platform in January of 2021, that's what the platform was called, Pocket Advisor, because when I first became a financial advisor, I realized even back then, I wanted to serve and help more people, and I wanted to be with my clients everywhere they go. It's almost like I wanted to be in their pocket, hence Pocket Advisor, right? So I kind of kept my head down, stayed focused on becoming an expert in what I do, and then fast forward, was it seven plus years later, Pocket Advisor is born. However, as I continued to learn more about business and branding, I was like, man, I have a podcast called The Uncensored Show, which is still active. Go listen to all the past episodes, 117 episodes, amazing content. Um, I had The Uncensored Show, I had My Pocket Advisor, and then I had uh, Melanin Money, the merchandise as a brand. So I had these three different like brands. I had to kind of juggle at all times. And it was becoming a lot. So I said, I still want to do these things, but I wonder if there's a way to streamline it and that's when I decided to roll everything up into the Melanin Money ecosystem. So now we have, of course, our, the Melanin Money Show, which we'll talk more about that in our media side. We have the Melanin Millionaires Club, which is our community. And then we have uh, the Melanin Money Merchandise, right? So to wrap up about the, about the club, our goal there and our goal across all of our platforms is to help 100,000 people of color achieve their first one million in net worth, which would decrease the wealth gap by 100 billion dollars i'm gonna do a whole nother episode y'all hold me to it on my 100 billion dollar plan on what that looks like and really break down how we're gonna help everybody get there okay so that's the melanin millionaires club uh it's a ton of features ton of tools and resources we're adding a bunch to it you're gonna get access to a dashboard called mywealthhealth.app where you'll be able to track your wealth health progress your net worth uh keep track of your expenses all your important financial documents uh stress test your uh, retirement it, literally that's what my clients get right and we do a lot of heavy lifting for them but we're going to give that same level of access to our community members so super excited about the, the uh, updates that we're rolling on the pipeline we probably will have to raise the price a little bit so join now before we roll out those updates so you can get access to it and get grandfathered into that price okay all right now let's move on to melanin money merchandise so we did capital wise which is my firm the melanin millionaires club which is our financial social network and now let's move on to the merchandise okay now the melanin money merchandise was never designed to be like this standalone physical product brand i really just wanted to create awareness and conversations around people of color uh building wealth right but it started to catch on fire and people were like, man, melanin money is a thing. I ended up trademarking it like a couple years later. Don't tell my attorney. Um, because people really, really were gravitating towards this movement of melanin money, which let me know that there was a really big gap with helping educate people of color on building wealth. And part half the battle is if you don't see the people that look like you talking about it, then you might not feel like it's for you. So Melanin Money um, as a merchandise brand is, is just how we started. And then what ended up happening is we rebranded or, or, you know, I stopped doing the Uncensored show and now we have the Melanin Money show, right? Um, and then, and that was scary because I, that was just a quick tangent. My very first pod podcast was the Legacy and Lifestyle show. So if you go back and listen to the, like the first 30 episodes of the Uncensored show, uh, you'll notice that even though we retitled everything, if you actually listen to the content, you'll hear welcome to the legacy and lifestyle show. Right. And then I actually got ranked as one of, I think, the a top 10 podcast by Forbes right underneath that brand. But I was still called and led to rebrand. And people thought I was crazy. It's like, George, you're top 10 Forbes podcast. You got an article. They mentioned you like how. Why would you switch now? And I had this quote that I live by. When the facts change, so do I. So I switched. I rebranded the Uncensored Show. I still love that graphic to this day. Donna, can we find that and show them that graphic with me with the money gun? I'll send it to you. Um, I still love that. Um, that was probably one of my favorite photo shoots. But anyways, I knew that even though that was a good rebrand at that time, I knew that in order to take the brand to the next level, I had to rebrand to the Melanin Money Show, right? because that way we had everything in one ecosystem as it relates to that brand. Obviously we have this show that again, lives in the melanin money ecosystem and the network, but I knew that I needed to go all in on melanin money, right? So we got the merch, uh, we got, if you've ever seen anybody with uh, black brilliant billionaire in the making, all came from my head. Melanin millionaire, 
uh, equity is my love language, you name it, right? These statement pieces that spark conversations around building wealth. Because someone sees you wearing that shirt, it's like, man, where'd you get that? Oh, I got it from Melon and Money. Melon and Money is a brand that, right? That's the whole goal, keeps the conversation going. We got a lot of fun stuff playing with the merch as well um, that I kind of keep under wraps because I don't want to spill all my candy in the lobby, right? But the Melon and Money brand. So shop.melaninmoney.com. Go grab your official uniform for wealth builders of color. All right, now, the Melanin Money Show, right? Our flagship uh, program on the Melanin Money Media Network, right? So what I realized is that who you serve does not have to be who pays you. It doesn't cost you anything to listen to this show or watch this show. It doesn't cost you anything to listen or watch to the Melanin Money Show. And what I realized is that what if I truly care about impact, then I can impact even more people than I can inside of my community, right? If if, right, I'm willing to serve. And so we do a live, oh, excuse me, we do a podcast every single Wednesday and have not missed a Wednesday since August 1st of 2021 and we're now in 2023. Commitment and consistency. And now, fingers crossed, I won't miss a Monday uh, for Financial Freedom Fastlane. And the truth be told, I have some things I really want to use to delineate the difference between Financial Freedom Fastlane versus um versus the Melon Money Show. One, one is just that I get to get my my commentary off, right? Because on the Melon and Money Show, it's a collaborative effort with the co-hosts. We usually have guests. Um, and so naturally it's more focused around that. And I have something to say. And so this show gives me an opportunity to say that. So that's the main point of differentiation is I just have more time to connect with you guys. The second thing is because they're both money shows though, I do wanna have some very unique elements uh, to the show. But again, if I waited to figure out exactly what that looks like versus just providing you guys this content, then I'm shortchanging you guys on value that you can get in real time, right? So expect to see a lot of cool updates. Um, again, don't wanna spill my candy in the lobby, but there's a lot of cool updates you can expect on this show. But aside from that, the Melanin Money, um, or Mel let's say Melanin Money Media, right, is the house to all of our content that we want to, uh, reach the masses. Our first flagship show was the Melanin, was, uh, the Melanin Money Show. Uh, Carter started doing Tax-Free Tuesdays, and now I'm doing Financial Freedom Fastlane. So literally, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you guys have a new show. And we have a whole suite of shows we plan to roll out. And for anybody, of you, any, any one of you that is interested in the media game, like, it's kind of interesting because with media, you're not charging your end consumer. Most of your money is coming from sponsorships, coming from ads, right? Which is a beautiful thing because when you, the people that you serve don't have to be the ones that pay you, then you can just give, give, give. They feel inclined to continue to show up with their, with their attention. And now we can get the corporations to help support our media efforts. Cause this stuff isn't free, right? If you think for one second, they're like, I'm uploading these videos to YouTube and editing these videos, all I'm doing is, well, I say all I'm doing, but it requires a lot. But I'm thinking of the topics and I'm creating the content. But our fearless leaders and our team, they're the ones that make sure that it gets uploaded to YouTube and our podcast outlets and does the micro clips and edits and the graphics and all that, right? And I can't do it without them, right? Everybody wants to focus on like the star of the movie, right? The person who's the leading character. But if you look at any movie credits, there's like 200 people that are in support of making that production. Sure, Michael B. Jordan's in the ring on Creed, but Creed's not happening without the cinematographer, without the costume designer, without all these people. And I can't do what I do without my team. And so media is a real business. And so we're now leaning in. You'll see this year, we're going all in on media. We're gonna do podcast tours. Uh, we're gonna continue to drop new content on the on the on the the YouTube channel. I'll probably even turn this into a podcast. Donald, you heard that, right? So we are going all in on content because we want to reach people at scale and impact as many people as humanly possible. So that is a business now because while we haven't put a lot of focus on monetization and we don't beat you guys to death with like ads, we you are going to start to see more sponsored content because that's what's going to allow us to do it for free, right? We can't just continue to show up and do content day in and day out and day in and day out without it making sense on some in some capacity and either that money is going to come from a corporation ads or a brand or it has to come from our end consumer and this is one of those things where we don't want it to have to come from you guys right we just want to be able to show up and serve and what helps with that which will allow us to do that is if you subscribe to the youtube channel if you 
comment and if you share it. Because if we grow, that gives us more op uh, opportunity to reach out to these brands and say, look, people are loving this content. Can you please support it so that we can continue to keep creating it, right? All right, so we got, now I'm only doing these recaps because I don't want to forget anything. So we got Capital Wise, my firm. We got the Melanin Millionaires Club, which is our financial social network. We got Melanin Money Merch, which is our the official uniform for Wealth Builders of Color. And we got Melanin Money Media. All right, so those are the, what is it, four? Those are four of the things that I do. And now, of course, there's like a bunch of little other stuff, right? Like that are derivatives of it, right? So I'm coming out with the flagship course under the same title of, of this, uh, this show series, Financial Freedom Fast Lane, that will go more in depth on my philosophies. So let's call it intellectual property is another thing that I do, right? So creating courses, uh, I'll be writing a book um, with the same title, hopefully, um, underneath Financial Freedom Fast Lane. And this is a lesson in building out loud, right? Because if I'm providing you this value in these, you know, many episodes, right? When I decide to release the book, when I decide to uh, release the course, right? Now it's like, man, I want to go deeper with George and what he has, has to offer. And now I have these resources, right? But I'm giving first. I'm not asking you to buy my course or buy my book, right? I'm giving first. And even when and if you do buy those things, my promise to you is that you will get way more out of it than whatever it costs, right? Way more out of it, right? But intellectual property is another thing, right? So courses, books, eBooks, things I've created in the past, things I'll create in the future, intellectual property is another thing that I do. Something I encourage everybody do because if you have a job, that means so you have intellectual property, otherwise your job wouldn't pay you to do what you do, right? And I'm pretty sure there's other things that you're passionate about. So I encourage everybody on some level, even if it's just the eBook to, package up what you know, and not just for the purpose of selling it, but because someone can benefit from that, right? Um, so intellectual property is huge. Uh, speaking. So I get invited to speak on virtual panels, on stages. I think my first speaking engagement of the year was the literally the first week of the year or second week of the year. Um, and I spoke at the Generation Wealth Conference. I think it's like 1,500 people there. And I'm really in my element when I'm on stage. So this is virtual. Um, and it's just me. There's no like live studio audience yet. Um, and so like, you know, there's a level of energy there, but when I got people that I can see and I can feed off their energy, even on a virtual setting, like that feeds my energy and, and I go harder. Then when I'm on a stage, I really show up. It's just like, it's just like any other performer, right? When you get on stage and you see people in the audience, you really, really show up. So speaking is another one of those things that I do. Now, I can't remember if I said in the beginning of this episode, if I was going to reference my notes, but I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, I am a professional investor. So one of the things that I do to make money is I invest in a variety of different things. The number one is I invest in the stock market, right? Pretty straightforward. I, I buy quality companies in the stock market um, and I let them do their thing. The greatest CEOs in the world work for me, right? I buy shares of Apple, Tim Cook does his thing and I get paid residual <laughs> right, earnings from Apple right as an investor which is way better than working for apple so the stock market is one 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 bucket i also invest in businesses uh that i own right that i have an ownership stake in but i don't have to run right so i'm a private equity investor right and private equity just means these companies aren't available for public investment you have to kind of know about it they're not listed on the public exchange like the stock market Right. So my, my latest investment was I invested in a high growth e-commerce business um, that's doing pretty well. Um, and I actually got my first payout for that uh, a week ago. Right. So uh, I invest in private equity. I also invest in venture capital. Now, venture capital is a little bit more high risk because these are companies that uh, are just starting out or they're very new. Um, they have the potential for high growth, but nobody knows. Right. Out of the five that I've invested in one of them has already shut down right but in venture capital they typically expect that for every 10 that they invest in only one of them to really perform really really well so for example for every dud that you get you expect to invest in one apple or one uber or microsoft right and so i have a little bit of my money invested in venture capital um, and also some in international real estate on some property in ghana so i'm going to do more uh real estate investing this year in the United States, I actually have a current deal that I'm working on that originally was gonna be a primary residence that I'm either going to make a, uh, a short-term rental or I'm just gonna flip it because the equity that has appreciated since I've got the land versus 
now <laughs> barman hand rub so um that's what else i did now other than that guys again i'm always like trying to identify different opportunities but those are the core things that i do so i do have a job i'm not just one of those <laughs> or not a job but i do have businesses and assets i'm not one of those just internet uh, uh talking heads that aren't actually doing the things behind the scenes and i thought it'd be helpful to invite you guys in to let you guys know a little bit more about what i do how i do it and how most importantly i can serve you so if you like this episode be sure to like subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already um, and also leave a comment. Let me know what else you want to hear from me. I have so much value to give and I want to make sure that I'm showing up for you on Financial Freedom Fast Life. Until next time, peace. I'm going to finish my coffee.